what you accomplish during a 24 hour period depends on your energy, your motivation, your skills and abilities, and other resources. Time management is not a way to make you work harder and longer, but a means to help you work smarter to accomplish your work more easily and rapidly. And remember, the common man is not concerned about the passage of time. The man of talent is driven by it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And here are some strategies you can use to overcome the obstacles that are affecting your ability to manage your time. So the first strategy is to set clear goals for yourself. You will want to accomplish many things in your time, but you must be able to determine what those effective goals are and make sure your efforts are always directed towards their achievement. And remember, effective goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-based. And the second strategy is to prioritize it's wise to periodically make a list of the tasks that confront you and prioritize them. This will help you determine the things you think are most important to accomplish and delegate any tasks which you feel they can be accomplished better by others. Because it makes sense to do things that are not due when you are overburdened. And remember, a good leader knows when to concentrate and focus on the important and eliminate the rest. This brings us to the third strategy, which is to organize. Organize. As you prioritize your tasks and set deadlines, you will want to organize your plans and actions. This can be done using a planner with a calendar and plenty of space to make notes for daily activities, contact information, and to-do lists. You will find this to be an indispensable tool for managing your time. Using a computer also helps in organizing your time. And this brings us to the fourth strategy, which is being able to say no when it's appropriate. As a leader or anyone cautious with their time, you will find you are called on to do much more than you've ever been asked to do before. When you learn to say no, you're not closing the door on your responsibilities, but rather you are making sure you can meet your commitments and accomplish the maximum possible in the time available for you. And strategy number five is to make good use of your waiting time. You can utilize the time you spend commuting on a train or a bus, as a doctor's or dentist's office for appointment, time you spend on a plane, waiting for a plane, or time you spend waiting for your package, etc. You can use them as opportunities to, to accomplish routine tasks that are necessary, but don't require large, periods of time. And this brings us to strategy number six, which is to concentrate. To concentrate. This requires you to concentrate completely on the task at hand. Concentration can be difficult when you have a lot on your mind, but your time will be better spent if you are able to focus on your goal and tune out interruptions. And this brings us to strategy number seven which is to use your personal prime time to use your personal prime time since everyone is different so think about your own prime time when you are planning your tasks think about your own prime time when you are planning your tasks so prime time is the time when you can concentrate on the more challenging tasks when you are at your best and this brings us to the eighth eighth and last strategy to effectively manage your time so the eighth strategy is to celebrate yeah to celebrate celebrate the achievement of your goals to maintain a healthy balance in your life between your work and play always remember to reward yourself when you complete a task and if you have worked in a team by delegating some tasks to others reward the efforts of all involved because time management can be as informal or as detailed as you want to make it. Develop a plan that fits your own needs. Be flexible throughout time and tailor it as your needs change. Because change is universal and change is permanent. Be, be ever willing to change. Be ever willing to change. 
for change alone leads you to success and happiness. So if you made this far, thanks for watching. Thanks for your patience. And I hope this helps you manage your time more effectively and accomplish your goals and work more easily and rapidly. And please don't forget to like this video, comment what you think about these strategies, and share this video with someone struggling to manage their time effectively. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That means a lot to me. Thank you. I love you. Peace and bye.